Mr. Shemang, Mr. Right Choice. And today I'm bringing you... Uh, we're not supposed to be out here. We're doing a wedding today because of Kevin, my boy, Digital Kev, told me at last minute he need help doing a wedding. Supposed to have been done two weeks ago, but you know, things are going crazy. They had to cancel and they decided to do it today. So we're definitely gonna keep our distance, but I'm gonna show you how we get down, how we're gonna be creative and bring this to life. This is gonna be a different video we ever did before. We're using all long lenses, 50s, 85, 125 lenses instead of wide, because we gotta be a little creative, keep our distance, you know, social distancing, as they say. Peace. All right. All right. So today, like Jermaine said, uh, we are using a little bit longer lenses. Um, I do have the 18-105, to 105, which is a kit lens technically, but since it has image stabilization in it, I can do a handheld shot and get really close to the ring with the background with the fragrances and all that good stuff. Um, we'll show what that shot looks like. And I'm using the grass as foreground. So that little bit of grass as foreground creates depth in the shot. So when it gets really close, we have some foreground and I can kind of go across like a slider or something like that but yeah like i said being creative and trying to do that some might be say why am i not using the gimbal um it's because it's really hard to do details on the gimbal um we have a slider um and a lot of times we'll do that told, on that they, one they me to bring. <laughs> so he didn't bring it <laughs> um so yeah we're doing a handheld today but it's all good. It'll still come out good. Do some warp stabilization to the clip and it'll it'll be fine. Slow it down a bit. It'll be perfect. So fun day. <laughs> So we had to redo this shot again. Um, audio wasn't plugged in all the way into our backup camera, but it's okay, I don't mind. Um, but basically the shot we were doing was um, getting detail shots, um, but I don't like to really do the detail shots on the um, gimbal because it's really hard to do my macro type shots or really close up shots on a gimbal. It's just too small of an object to do. So I like to do them on sliders or I like to do them handheld. So I tried one effect where we're using the uh, a spare piece of paper and just sliding it across because we didn't have our slider today. Then I'm trying some whip pan effects where I'm going to whip the camera back and forth and What's, use that. What the heck is whip pan? Basically when you just go quick into the frame and go back into the frame. But you have a moment of stillness for just a second. So you whip in the frame, still whip out. Mm -hmm. And then the next transition, whip in, still for a second, whip out. And that'll allow you to not have to worry so much about trying to be cinematic and letting, you know, doing little 360 moves around a small little ring. It's just not going to happen, guys. It's pretty tough. And without like a motorized slider, you're going to be looking at some pretty bad footage that you'll have to warp stabilize and pray that it works. But hey, I did combinations, did about three, four different ways of doing it. And I know one of them will work out, but that's a testament to um, why you have to do multiple different things, especially with. Uh, with the uh, accessories because you they're just so small and a lot of times those micro shakes come out but um i guess we're about to do some uh shots with the groom for a little bit i don't think he's dressed yet but we'll just get some b-roll while they're chilling and drinking beer and stuff like i said it's a little different um because all the guys are pretty much chilling out and everything everything's pretty much done so we're just pretty much excited that we only got about an hour and a half left until the ceremony so we should be out of here pretty quick. It's a smooth day, been really fast so far, and everybody's real nice. So let's get it. So what I was just doing just over here, looking like I'm just shooting uh, trees and all that good stuff, basically um, taking shots uh, for the environment. So people can remember on their wedding day, you know, the little things like what color the the, the trees were what you know how it was a windy day you know all those little effects that bring the the, the, the film to life so that's what we were doing you know capturing little stuff like that so I'm gonna just be kind of going around getting moss that's blowing in the wind pretty whimsical type stuff just so people can remember what the weather was like and stuff like that so getting the environment another thing I want to mention is we never get to do this we got so much time I'm able to 
have this camera and also this camera here and you see mr right choice right there on my shirt i never get a chance to do this so i wanted to make the best of it since i've been doing a lot of videos lately um and also being creative i mentioned that earlier so we'll keep on rocking uh get some shots of the bride it's a lovely bride anna um so we're out here she's gonna be getting on a cool atv later um and the guy's gonna be coming on boats and all kind of stuff so it's gonna be really unique today uh, we don't get that opportunity to do that a lot so it's gonna be a lot of fun so just got done getting some quick clips in the uh in the room that she's getting ready in um i told her to come outside so we can kind of do you know her dropping her hair from being up and all that good stuff um just you know because of the environment and because of the situation and all that good stuff trying to you know be six feet even though we weren't really six feet in there but um you know trying not to touch much i have my gloves just in case i do touch anything and then of course um when she comes outside we're gonna get more you know cinematic b-rolls <laughs> we um, got about because she's pretty much she's pretty much ready. Good, yeah. So she gonna be on, she gonna be on top. Uh, can the drone fly over here? You said no. Yeah, it can. It was. Uh, it's a no fly zone over there. What's over there? Way over there. That's how you always know they know my mama first. <laughs> I'm about to take some uh, B-roll shots of this car that the bride will be going in. I know I said she was be coming in in a uh, ATV, but her grandfather actually built this car up. It's a great classic car. It looks really, really nice inside and out. And the engine's completely redone. Fantastic car, but this is something that you can't miss out on. If you miss this detail, the bride might be mad at you. So make sure you get all the stuff that matters. Talk to the people so you can know the purpose of what you're shooting and not just shooting things that you like. So let's go ahead and shoot this. Um, Kevin about to get the drone. So I'm about to go over here and record, well, Kevin's coming back. I was going over here to record him set up for the ceremony. I had to go get the wireless goes because they was dead. I, I didn't charge it last night and now they charge. Now we got much clearer audio. I might have to go back and forth and charge them uh, so we can have good audio because good audio is very good to have. I hate camera audio, but this 6400 has really good in-body camera. So um, I'm gonna go back and forth from good quality and great quality. Peace. Okay, so here we are at the ceremony, uh, uh, the ceremony location, sorry about that. Um, we got the lake over there with the, um, I don't know what you call it, but the, um, the alligator lake. <laughs> Not the alligator lake, but um, we got the front of the uh, ceremony location right there. We got our center camera. Um, I'm gonna set up another camera over there on tripod. Um, and I'm gonna be on gimbal. Jermaine will be operating uh, the drone for probably the first part of it. And then he can go ahead and man uh, the camera that's on the uh, tripod. So should come out pretty good. Um, just trying to get everything set up. It is getting hotter and hotter out here, even though the day is getting later. It's supposed to be getting cooler, but it feels like it's getting hotter. But hey, it's gonna be cool, guys. What I did wanna say is, what makes me and my team different, Jermaine will definitely tell you this is extremely true, is I'm pretty anal about the ceremony footage because most videographers do not care about the couples getting a full ceremony. And all my couples get full ceremonies um, it's just something that everybody always asks me. I don't know how people get away with not doing it, but you should get that. When you turn 50, you're gonna wanna watch it again, and you're gonna be like, hey, you're gonna be out of luck. But we do do it, and that's the reason why I'm setting it up and you know, really thinking about how the shot's gonna look, because um, it's not just about the highlight reel. It's also about when you get older, 10 years from now, when you wanna watch that over again, we wanna make sure we create that experience for people to remember why they fell in love.
what I'm about to do right now, guys, is report the, the groomsmen, um, do some detail shots to the boots, the pants, and get him a do a detail shot of him posing on top of the truck. Um, idea that I saw, uh, cause Kevin's over there with the uh, the bride. I'm over here with the groom, so we always split up with each other. So I take care of one part, and that's uh, he takes care of the other. Uh, that's how you work together as a team. So check out the shots, guys. Peace. Sweat my ass off. I ain't trying to roll no lay more. Lay down on the side of the boat. And... Yeah. Like Italy, motherfucker. You get, it's like, like a gondola. gondola. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you whatever you want. You gotta hold hands. Hold hands behind the door. There you go, Wool. Look at that. So cute. Cheers it. Touch it. There you go. Um, just got done doing the first look. Um, it's about to get to the speed up round, so about to not see too much uh, vlogging from us for a second, but because uh, we're about to be running around a lot. So after this, weddings typically speed up. Once you get to the I'm ceremony, right you now. won't get another downtime to the reception. Huh? So, you want to hey, it's fun. Every wedding's unique. They did a cheers one. I haven't seen the cheers one before. So, uh, quick toast before the wedding. So, hear everybody kind of screaming. They're about to be ready to go. So, let me go ahead and get started, guys. Peace. She's not coming. She's in the back. Just got done with the ceremony. The pollen is starting to get to me, guys, so I'm sorry I'm blinking a lot. But just got done with the ceremony, and um, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, we had Tremaine flying the drone. Um, had to get that, because they had a lot of moving parts that we thought would be really cool. Like we said, um, classic car that she was driving in from the dirt road on it, onto the farm, and then we had um, him driving in on the boat. So we had a lot of cool elements that we had to do the drone. So that left me by myself on the ceremony location until Jermaine came to assist and provide that backup support. Um, Cause it's, it's, it's tough doing three cameras by yourself. Um, so as soon as he got done with the drone footage, uh, no looks super great. Um, he came to get the, uh, the bride side angle while I took care of the uh, groom side angle. So I think we got everything we need. Um, I think it should be pretty cool, y'all. Uh, I'll put it all together, and um, of course, it's gonna be an amazing highlight reel. Then I'll put together the, the uh, ceremony for them as well. So we're gonna do the reception. It's a pretty, um, it's a pretty laid-back reception. So they'll do a first dance, and you know we'll probably be leaving not too uh, far from now. So it's been a great day. Let's get it. We got monitor in place. Got my got my uh, sun shield on it so I can see. A73, of course. 35 millimeter f1.4 so we can get some bokeh um it's getting uh to be evening so now we can get more bokeh out the shots even with the nd filter it was so bright today with no shade that we were pretty much pushing our lenses more in the higher like 5.6 and 2.8s so this time i'm gonna be able to do it at like 1.4 just to get some creamy looks out of the reception footage so um we'll put it down below so you guys can check it out but um yeah let me knock this out All right, so what I'm about to do right now, do some detail shots of the cake and the cupcakes and the sign using a monopod. Like I said earlier, this one I first started out with, my baby. Um, taking a little break, Kevin's recording me now. I'm gonna do some of this B-roll. So the shots we just got of this uh, dessert table, which you'll notice we were doing two different things. People don't use a lot of monopods and they think they can do everything by hand. Nothing wrong with hand movement. You can actually get some really good stuff. I like using doing hand movements too. But the monopod allows you to get those really nice creep in shots, come out, or you can do an out of focus shot and come back into focus. Those are some really cool shots you can really only get away with on a monopod or in slow motion with your hand. So on the gimbal, what you'll notice is we don't always use the gimbals in the traditional sense. Like when you're doing real estate, stuff like that, or something revealing, that's when you do all the walking shots. But what we like to really do is make circular motions with the gimbal. You can do it with your hand, but you just get it a much creamier look to it. So what you'll notice is I'm more so turning my body with the gimbal 
letting the gimbal do what it needs to do to make the uh, movement seem more circular, smoother, instead of just all the shots being. So don't be that guy. Don't be the guy that goes in, shoots, and goes like this, or like this. Let's add some circular motions in there too. They'll come out pretty good, and they're great for signs and details. Shades. Right now I'm on this golf cart. We about to go, I don't know where we going, buy some cows or something. <laughs> some horses, cows. some, some moo cows to do some bride and groom photos. That might be a big it's bump. been there's a lot of bumps and there's a lot of boo-boo everywhere. Everywhere. I mean everywhere. <laughs> this young lady is driving me. She's driving pretty cool though. But you see the behind the scenes as has I been I, I can't even talk right. You see the behind the scenes of everything I've been showing so far, so you're gonna check this out. Peace. Oh Lord, what is this? We're gonna we're gonna have to hit it. You ready? No. Nope. Let's get it. Oh, we did it. Okay. Nothing fell out. It's the money maker time. If you fail at this particular part of your wedding. Ooh, you're going to have a hard time making That's good. it pretty dope in the beginning and in the ends because this is the time where the bride and groom are by themselves and you want to do all your cinematic shots. So this is the money time. Let's get it. Kyle, now look up at me, love. There you go. That's really pretty. So lean back. Ooh. Wrap your arm kind of around him though. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the conclusion of today. Shooting with my boy Tremaine, um, the right choice, and it's been a great day. You know, we got COVID, you know, uh, they didn't know if they was going to have their wedding, but it was nice that we were able to come out here and do this. Um, everybody's been really friendly, and hey, until next time, everybody, so like and subscribe to this channel, and until next time, peace.